Hey guys, Gibbo here, and today I'm going to show you how I got this photo of a fruit bat for my toy photography. Let's jump in. Okay, so I'm here in Lightroom, guys. So as you can see from the many shots I took here, guys, I went through a lot of different variations of lighting, different intensities of light, and I ended up with these two shots over here. So I've got one harsh spotlight coming in from the left to give the wings some nice definition and highlights there. You can see this light falling on the apple here and coming in from the sort of 45 degree on the right hand side of Batman. That is my main light source. The key light or the highlight light is coming in from the left. The second shot I then used was having the harsh light coming more from above and just giving some more lighting highlights across his left arm, his knuckles, on his hip joint there, and just illuminating the floor a lot more. And we'll see how we edit this now in Photoshop. So let's jump into Photoshop. So now we are in Photoshop, guys, and this is the base layer. So this is the original layer from here. I've exported it straight into Photoshop. The next thing I'm gonna do, guys, is open up the second image and overlay it onto the top of the first image. So it's exactly the same image. I used a tripod to keep the image still. But what I want to use from the second image here is I wanna use the highlight areas and really make the highlights pop. So what I did is I created a mask layer and I only brought in the areas that I wanted to show. So I've got a highlight here on the hip, his fist, if we click on and off, you can see I bought some more highlights here on the back of his cape and on the top of his arm. So I'm literally using the best of both worlds. Secondly, what I did is I created a new layer and I used my clone stamp tool, which is this tool over here, and I got rid of all the messiness on the floor. You can see there's some white scuff marks. I didn't like this area here on the apple. So with a clone stamp tool, I took that away and I cleaned up the floor. Next thing I did was I added a curves adjustment layer. And what curves does is it allows me to adjust the intensity of light on my layers. So as you can see, if I turn off my layer mask and I show my curves layer, I brought the curves right down to make it quite a dark moody shot. And then I used a layer mask and I only darkened around the extremities. So I'm using the layer mask to use the brightness and intensity of the layers underneath to bring through and using the darkness of the curves adjustment to make the darkness around Batman work. So once I'm happy with the scene, I then make a layer of all the layers combined. So it makes one layer of the whole scene I've just created. And then I go into what's called Nick software. I've got a plugin here called Nick Collection and I usually go to ColorFX Pro. That opens up and gives me more options. It's a plugin that Google has made, but it gives me more options to play with various filters, various effects. So what I did here is I adjusted the color balance and you can see I added a little bit of blue, a tungsten to daylight effect, added that to the scene and voila, that's what it looked like. A little bit of blue and then I went back in with a levels adjustment layer and I made the area underneath the floor of Batman here a lot darker just to make the apple pop out of the darkness. And then finally add the logo. So guys, that's how I edited my fruit bat image for my toy photography. So if you head across to my website, which is harryhawk.com, there's my image there. You can see all my images that I've done through my toy photography career. And if there are any images in my toy photography gallery that you'd like to see on how I edited them, let me know in the comments below which image you'd like to see and I'll walk you through the process. But that's my Batman fruit bat image, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.